Good day learners, today I'm going to do activity 3 from the textbook. Retrieve, the first instruction is to retrieve the document wrap crisis from your folder. Second instruction is edit the document as indicated in the text and according to the instructions below. What instructions? The manuscript science. So let me do the first instruction. I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to retrieve the file wrap crisis. So my file rape crisis is retrieved. I always emphasize to learners, make sure that you always work with the ruler. My ruler is not active, so I'm going to activate it. I'm going to click on view, ruler, click on home and show and hide because I'm going to do editing. Insert two blank lines at the top of the page. Type your name and surname in the first line. Save the file as rape crisis 2 in the folder and close that is after completing all the manuscript sign instructions so i need to insert my name and surname and i need to have an open line on top so i'm going to press enter once twice i'm going to go up and i'm going to type my initial and surname your case to be your name and surname then the first manuscript sign instruction is insert an open line between rape crisis in South Africa and practical suggestions. I'm going to go back and after Africa, I'm going to press enter once. And because I'm using show and hide, I can see there's an enter, there's an enter as well. So there's one line spacing. Next instruction is move lines to the end of the document so these two lines i need to move to the end of the document move is cut so i'm going to scroll down i need to select the two lines by highlighting it there are various options i can right mouse button click i can use cut copy paste i can use it on my ribbon cut copy paste under home or I can use control shortcut keys, control and X, which is cut, control and V, which is paste, control and C, which is copy, but control and X is cut. Um, I'm just going to use the one on my home ribbon, cut. Uh, by default, there should always be one line spacing between each paragraph. So I'm going to press delete to make sure there's one line spacing. Put my cursor at the end of the document, press enter, there's one line spacing and I'm going to press paste. That is moving. The next instruction, divide the paragraph into separate sentences, insert numbers and leave two letter spacing after each number. Leave an open line between each sentence. Let's go back to the document. Now, without show and hide, I cannot see that there are two letter spaces. But with show and hide, I can see there are two letter spaces. That dot indicates that there is a letter spacing from these two letter spacings between the full stop and the word walk. So I put my cursor just after the full stop. I'm going to press it once, twice they're saying that there should be a line spacing between each new each new sentence Press enter once twice and I'm going to do that to separate each sentence walk once if And lobby. I can see over here this two letter spacings. So I need to select here should be entered once. I'm gonna highlight the paragraphs and under home I have bullets and I have numbers. And there's a drop down arrow. The drop down arrow means more options. I'm going to use the first option. Now, my numbers are there, but it's not flash against the margin, the gray. 
area indicates a margin and you can see it's indented away from a margin so still under home right next to bullets you have your multi-level and you get decrease in dent and increase in dent I don't want to increase the indent I want to decrease it I want it flash against the margin so now it's flash against the margin and that question is completed the last instruction over here is copy the main heading two lines below the last text go back what is the heading is not your name and surname is the rape crisis in South Africa so I need to copy I'm going to select it, copy, and I'm going to scroll down into once, one line spacing between it, and paste it. So that is my document edited. Take my show and add off. Should fit on one page. Flash against the margin, my numbers, and now I need to save it as Rep Crisis 2. I'm going to click on file save as browse because you will have to retrieve it later i've created a folder info activities completed and the file name should be rape crisis 2 and i'm going to click on save okay and that is activity 3 in a nutshell i hope that assisted you thank you